Hello everybody, I'm Tommy Ken. Welcome to my channel. My channel is about all the great things in Singapore. I will also talk and share about personal growth and tech gadgets. If this is what interests you, do hit that subscribe button now and turn on all notifications to be notified when my new video drops. In this video, I'll be showing you the newly launched Sambawang Heritage Trail. And that's not all. I have a special bonus for all of you. So make sure you watch until the end of this video to find out what this bonus is. Without further ado, let's go. I'm starting my trail hike from the Asafa Mosque. It stands out as a mosque that integrates Islamic symbols with contemporary architecture as it has a 33 meter high steel tower bearing a star and a crescent moon. I'm heading out to my next destination. Oh, the weather is hot, really hot. Oh my goodness. I'm fried. I have now arrived here at the traffic junction just outside the Sembawang shipyard. But in the early part of last century, Sembawang shipyard was officially known as HM Naval Base Singapore. It was a fully equipped naval base that could service British naval fleet and accommodate thousands of sailors. Here's a fun fact. The centerpiece of the old naval base, the 305 meter long King George VI dry dock, was the world's largest dry dock back in 1938. Isn't that amazing? Standing within the compound of Sandcorp Marine Admiralty Yard, which is not open to the public, is the former Sembawang Fire Station. It was built in 1938 and featured a simplified Art Deco modern architecture with a prominent hose tower where fire hoses are hung to dry. It housed the Naval Base Fire Brigade until 1971 before being transferred to the Singapore government. It was operational until it was replaced by Yishun Fire Station in 2005 and was conserved in 2007. Sembawang has more than a hundred black and white houses that once housed the British staff of the naval base. Known for their white plastered walls and contrasting dark timber frames, these houses were influenced by Anglo-Indian and Malay architecture. The oldest black and white houses in Sembawang were built in 1929 at Gibraltar Crescent. These houses were also known as the Jacksons as they were originally occupied by engineers of Sir John Jackson Limited. Please note, these black and white houses are actually private residences. Do not enter the houses or compounds keep to the roads and keep the noise level to a minimum. Next up is the Sembawang Strip. You can come here via the Canberra Sembawang Park Connector. Popularly known as the Sembawang Strip, which is the only surviving part of the former Sembawang village. It is most famous for housing the stretch of bars with naval teams' names. These shop houses were built around 1965 and continue to house various eateries and shops. I heard that the corner seafood store serves chilli crabs that are super delicious. Have any one of you tried the chilli crabs here? If so, do comment below to let me know how your experience was. 
Okay, let's continue to make a move to our next stop. Hello everybody. I have reached Sembawang Park. I think we are wanted uh, along the trail of the Sembawang Heritage Trail. I'll press on and I'll update you all again. See ya. Here's a little quiz from me. Have you ever wondered how did Sembawang get its name? Continue watching and I'll let you in on the answer very soon. Hello everybody, we have reached the Sambawang Pats Bilu House. Alright, right now it is a restaurant. So if you reach here, you can always come over here and have a rest stop before you press on to the rest of the Sambawang Heritage Trail. Next stop, we will go and check out the um, old Muslim mosque. Alright. After a long walk, I'm finally here at the Sembawang Mosque. Oh yes, by the way, I had promised you to reveal the answer to my earlier quiz. The answer is Sembawang Tree. Did you guess it correctly? Do give me your comments below to let me know what answers you had given. Hello everybody. Uh, I have reached the Sembawang Mosque. All right. Uh, this is another stop in the Sembawang Heritage Trail. All right, um, as you can see, this mosque is actually pretty uh, well kept and painted. All right, so it's very well maintained. Today is Friday, so our Muslim brothers are here to do their Friday prayers. I'm just going to stay a while uh, before I move on to the other uh, features in the Sambawang Heritage Trail. All right, see you then. Okay, everybody. Now I have reached uh, the old Admiralty House. However, because now it is the construction stage for the Bukit Canberra uh, this uh, area, all right. So I'm, I'm not allowed to go inside the work site. So I can only see so far. So if you can look at the background here, yes, this one would be the Admiralty House, all right. Okay, so there's no way I could go in now. Until it is uh, ready, all right, the whole place. Okay, I think it's all ready soon. Okay, it was slated to be open to the public in the first half of 2021. But right now, it seems that it's going to be, you know, the first half of 2022 uh, at the earliest, I think, because of COVID 19 pandemic. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you like it. Do hit that subscribe button to subscribe and turn on all notifications to be notified when my new videos drop. It is now time to review the special bonus for this video. This was a mud flat swamp. Today, this is a modern city. Ten years from now, this will be a metropolis. Never fear.
on 12 September 1965, Singapore founding Prime Minister, the late Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, visited the Sri Narayanan Mission at Sunkit Road and delivered a landmark speech entitled From Mud Flats to Metropolis. Mr. Lee's speech was delivered during the tumultuous times when people in Singapore were unsettled about Singapore's future as an independent nation after separating from Malaysia. At this exact location where that speech was made, a Never Fear marker was installed at Block 313 Sembawang Drive on 16 February 2020 to remind Singaporeans that every generation will continue to build the nation with courage and a never fear spirit. Majula Singapura. If you like my video, remember to like and subscribe and turn on all notifications to be notified when my new video drops. Until then, peace.